I espouse tolerance and compassion and virtue, right? If you've watched any of my other videos, most of them have something to do with that theme in some way. There's compassion. I love compassion. I believe in it. However, the most important lesson you can learn after embracing compassion is that it has limits. Compassion must have limits. You have people talk about limitless compassion and boundless love no matter what, but that's insanity, quite honestly. That's insanity to just sit there and say you have absolutely limitless love and compassion for everyone ever. Well, first off, everyone has a bad day. Sometimes you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed and for that day, you know what, fuck everybody ever, right? You're walking around, that guy looked at you funny, fuck him, he, he, whatever, fuck him with fire because it's just a bad day. And some people have that better than others, worse than others, but you're gonna dislike people at some point in your life and they're gonna earn it sometimes. That's, that's the important lesson here is that not everybody reciprocates compassion with compassion. Love does not always beget love from other people. Sometimes they just try to take advantage of you. Some sometimes they use that against you and they hurt you, they take advantage of you, they might set you up for something or just drag you along for a little while, see what they can build from you, you know, buy them drinks, other things, and then fuck you when something better comes along. And there are limits to this compassion <laughs> that you can extend to people like this, right? There comes a point where you have to say, yes, I would like to help you, but I know what's going to happen. I have to walk away from you. Maybe this one time they really do need your help, but the story of the boy who cried wolf comes to play here. Yes, the wolf was really after him in the end, but, well, he had no evidence, and quite honestly, he had fucked it up so much by that point, he had no chance of anyone believing him, short of, you know, the wolf coming at after him in town square, right? And he earned it. People were not showing him an unreasonable amount of disdain by saying, we don't believe you. That wasn't unreasonable. Pretty much there comes a point where you get burned enough, walk away. It's that simple. You have to love and trust people and cherish them to a point. There does come a point where you extend the hand of friendship and get smacked, stop doing it. Now, again, I want to counterbalance all of this by noting that this isn't a recommendation to people to stop trusting or caring about people the first time someone hurts you, or maybe even the second. But there comes a point where you'll feel it, where you just know it's a, no better way to describe it than how many, you know, you've tried enough. You'll feel it in your heart at that point where I've done enough for this person and all they've done is punish me for it. So I need to think about me. It's that simple. It might feel heartless at that point for whatever reason you're backing away from this person. You know, whatever's going on, it might feel heartless to you even with what all that happened. You feel dedicated to them. You feel, well, it almost becomes a duty, doesn't it, after a while, for the people who know what I'm talking about. You, you almost feel obligated at a point. After a while, I've helped them out this much, right? I, you know, I've got to keep helping them. You actually have an investment in this person of time, effort, love, and energy, right? You've put forth so much, but this isn't money. This isn't the stock market. You're not going to get some kind of sudden up spike of money or love or trust or anything from that kind of a relationship. It's, there's no eventual payoff when someone keeps burning you. It sucks. There's, I mean, it sucks. There are times where this is going to happen to pretty much everybody who ever tries to make friends with people and trust people and deals with them at all, really. There's a lot of bad people out there. And you have to learn to walk away. You have to learn when compassion has its limits. But you also have to never forget that people are individuals. That person was a douchebag, right? You know what? Not everybody's a douchebag. The next person who comes along, he might not be a douchebag. You know, he might be a good person. You have to remember that you cannot judge humanity by the actions of humans. Humanity as a whole is not any one person. It's everybody. And while you walk away from one person because they're nothing but bad, the rest of the world can still be good. While you lose trust in one person, don't lose trust in people. Just something to think about.